Hey guys, it's Danielle. It's Saturday. Hey guys, it's Danielle. We're going up to St. John's side today. We'll show you guys Palmis Dig or also called the Dam. It's a historical site. It was built over three centuries ago during the French colonization of the island and it was used to power the sugar mills. We'll also show you guys Palmer's Beach. So I hope you guys enjoy. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my videos and also give the videos a thumbs up if you like it. See you soon. Yes guys, so we're in the Palmer's area now. So I'll show you guys the dig. And right here we have Nulo, which is a new life organization. So people come here to learn skills and so, so that they can start their businesses and so. And you keep driving up from Nulo to get to the dig. It's very beautiful yes, up guys, here. And then you just drive up this bumpy dirt road right here. So make sure to come with a big vehicle, <laughs> small car. You'll see a lot of trouble to come up. Yes guys, so that's the road over there where we came up from. Okay. Right here we have the dig. So this is the area here where the water was stored, like a dam. Right? And this water was used to power the sugar mills. Very beautiful area. Very lovely area. People still do their farming and so over here, and there's some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palms over there, very tall. There's a small hill over there as well. This is the water. Yes guys, so I just love coming up here, you know, I've been here like two times before and every time, you know, I'm amazed. It's a really beautiful, tranquil place. I'm sure you can hear the water just falling in the background, you know, it's very therapeutic. So, I really love it. It's a very nice, calm area, right? Yeah, so, Pineda is an amazing place, very beautiful, right people? So make sure that if you are Canadian that you explore this beautiful gem. Explore it because Grenada is amazing.
course guys so we left the dig and now i'm gonna show you palmas beach it was one of my favorite childhood beaches but i think it's much different now than when i was younger but i'll show you guys Guys, so we're on the beach now. So there's some um, fishermen boats right here. This is the beach there. A lot of almond trees around. It's pretty there, and the road is right there. So yeah, guys, this is Palmis Beach. Yes, guys. So I have a lot of memories on Palmis Beach because, as I told you guys before, I grew up in the St. John's area. So I used to come to this beach a lot when I was younger, you know, with my family and so on. We had loads of fun here, you know, loads and loads of fun on this beach. It was a very, very nice beach when I was younger. It's not as nice as it was before, I must admit. Before the sand was more white and it didn't have all these rocks and so But It's still a beautiful beach and I'll show you guys. That's Brady in the back there doing his cinematic video. So remember to check him out on his channel, Brady Langine, right? and give him a like and also subscribe. Yes guys, so this is the beach. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of rocks on the shore now. When I was younger, it didn't have all these rocks here. It was just beautiful sand and the water was clear, but the water doesn't seem as clear as it was before. But it's still a beautiful beach nevertheless. You can take a nice evening stroll on this beach and enjoy it. It's still very beautiful. This is Nulo from the beachside, right? Um, and these are all the lovely almond trees that surrounds the beach. And the road is right there, guys. So the beach is very easily accessible because it's very close to the road, right? It's an easy beach to get to. Yes guys, so we are leaving Palmas Beach now, so yes, it was nice, but I, I actually like to dig more <laughs> than I like the beach, but yeah, it was good, so remember to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos, I plan on go to go on so many adventures this year, and remember to give the videos a thumbs up if you like it, so I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and you have a productive week, remember to always stay positive and to always do your best. Bye, and I'll see you guys in my next video.